Reports. Access 2013 gives you the ability to run reports to view your data. The report tool is the quickest way for you to run those reports because you don't have to enter any information. It simply displays all fields from a table or query. That said, it won't create the polished looking report that you want if you want to distribute and share it, but it is a way to take a look at your data. If you want to modify the design, you can then save the report and make changes in layout or design view. To create a report, select a table or query in the navigation pane that you wish to use to create a report. In this example, we're going to select and open the books table. Go to the create tab, go to the create tab, and then click on report in the reports group. You'll now see the report in layout view. Now you can save it if you want, and then close the report and the table used to create it. The next time you open the report, you'll see the recent data from your record source in our case, a table, displayed in the report. The report will appear in the object pane in the report section. You can also use the report wizard to create reports. If you use the report wizard, you can customise your reports more than you could with the report tool. For example, you can specify how data is grouped, plus you can use more than one query or table as a data source for your report. To create a report with the report wizard, go to the report wizard in the reports group under the create tab. You'll see this window. Select the fields you want displayed in your report from the available fields column. Click the arrow to move them to the selected fields. You can use the tables and queries drop down menu to select other tables and queries from which you can select fields. In this example, we'll move all fields across except for publication month. Click next. In this screen, you'll see the fields that we've selected on the right. On the left, we can choose how we want to view the data. We've selected author and moved it to the right, so that the report data is grouped by authors, with the detail underneath. Click Next. Now we can select how we want our data sorted. We can also select Summary Options to view more options about our data. You can enter Summary Options and click OK, or click Cancel if you don't want to enter any. Once you've exited the Summary window, click Next. Select the layout of your report. You can check the circle beside Stepped, Block or Outline to see how it will look. Select Block and click Next. In the next window, name the report and click Finish. Here's the report. You can see that some of the fields are displayed as hash symbols instead of the actual values. This is because the columns are not wide enough to fit the data. This can be adjusted in design view. Also, there is a grey highlighted row in the report. This is because the data is grouped by author, and that is the second row underneath John Grisham, who has two books. If you want to fine tune the design of your report, you can do that in design view. You can then add new controls and fields just by adding them to the design grid. Using the property sheet, you'll have access to properties that you can set to further customise your report. Over the next two lessons, you're going to learn a lot of additional skills so you can indeed customise your report. For now though, we're going to show you how to add additional fields. If your report is in print preview mode, click on close print preview. Go to design view on your report by clicking on the reports tab. Now you can use the property sheet. If you don't see it, press F4 or go to the design tab and select property sheet. Now click on Add Existing Fields in the Design tab. Now you can see the Field List pane. If you want to add a single field, drag and drop from the Field List pane to the section on the report where you want it to appear. Hold down the Control button to add more than one field at a time. Click Show All Tables, then double click the field you want to add to the report. You can then move it around your report by dragging and dropping it. Access automatically creates a text box control and label control for each field. We'll learn more about controls in the next lesson. Your report might have been expanded when you did that. To make the detail section smaller, move your mouse so it's just above the top of the grey bar here and click and drag it to make it narrower. You can also create mailing labels. Open the report that you want to create labels for. Go to the Create tab and select Labels from the Report group. 
select a size for your label. You can also choose a manufacturer so it prints correctly on the labels. Click Next. Select the font type and colour and then click Next. Select the fields you'd like to appear on your label. To add spaces, press spacebar. To create a new line, press enter. Click next. You can now specify how you want access to sort the labels. We're going to sort them by title. Click next. Name your labels and then click finish. You can now see how the labels might look.